So can we start now? Drop them kids, bro. Absolutely. I'm getting my mic this Friday. With the yeah, you need to get my mic. You need oh, to get it because you, like, you finally getting the mic. Yo, yeah, yo, 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 your game mic, your game headset ain't good enough. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I've been using uh, AirPods. Yeah, we can tell. AirPods. We mm. can definitely tell. Are we recording? Yes, we're recording now. Let mm. me make sure. Okay, good, good, good. All right, uh, so, it is recording. It is recording. I can see it. Um, okay. I was going to say. Okay. So, Marcus, yeah, um, did you wipe? No one is. Uh... Huh? <laughs> did you wipe? Yeah, with a. Uh... I, I bedayed and then wiped with a moist towelette. Mm. And then, mm. you know, you just the paper. I just ordered Stick two. Fly. I just ordered two more boxes of moist towelettes for four dollars each. Mm. Wow. On Amazon. That's a little expensive. That's what? a little expensive. Four dollars each? No, I four mean, dollars for each box. It was like yeah, six. But like, it was like six per box and forty in each little pack. And that's so mm. I got like Okay, that's not bad. Yeah. It's not bad. Mm-mm. Yeah, I just got on the moist towelettes not too long ago, probably six hey. months. Hey, I ain't look back. I ain't look back. Never felt cleaner, have you? <laughs> <laughs> man, man, man. You like Ooh. she. <laughs> um, Hell yeah. so Laurence, why don't you just tell me again? Because it looks like Demarcus has to do something right quick. So, why don't you tell me again what, uh, how, how you're doing? Hey man, so I'm I'm doing great. I'm doing great. So as we all know, you know, I'm a realtor. That's my main. I love it with passion. But you know, I had to pick up uh, something a bit more consistent. Um, you know, it was kind of slowed up. So I did you know, the job with Long, well with Longhorn Steakhouse, and it's been great. I've been there about three weeks, but um, yeah, unfortunately, my time there has uh, come to an end. Um, you know, and it's just I love. The service industry, I love being in it. And there are aspects I love working with um, food and serving people. But it's just that work-life balance is kind of, it's pretty much non-existent when you get to that general manager level oh, in the building, you know, 50. Can I, can I finish? You already don't quit long um, more, my nigga? <laughs> no, nah, not, not yet. Like this, this week, this week will probably be my, um, probably be my last week. What? But, uh, but listen, can I finish? No. Oh, go ahead and finish. Go ahead and finish. So like, so I got some other stuff lined up. I do have another position. So my daughter's school, they ha- they um they're in need of a teacher basically. So I got offered that, and I mean I mean we're currently in um just basically contract negotiations because I told them straight up I'm like hey I'm making this much. I know y'all usually pay this. Can you kind of meet me somewhere in the middle? And um like I said, granted you know I was gonna be making you know pretty decent money at with Longhorn, but it's just like I said that work life balance is major. Mm-hmm. I you know I, I have my 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 13 year old. 13 year old full time, and as well as my, you know, my two year old. So even getting her the past three weeks has been just ridiculous because, you know, if I'm working a closing shift, I don't get out of there till one o'clock, one thirty in the morning. Oh, and yeah. um, it, and it's just you know, like another thing that pissed me off is like one day off. If that makes sense, they want you to work five days a week, but you just and you get two days off, but that those two days are never back to back. I'm just like I, I can't do this full time. That's just gonna be right. this. Um, so yeah, starting Monday, I'll be English teacher. Uh, at English teacher, you don't have an six. English degree. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't. Bro. You ain't I never studied me. English a day in your life. I don't think you have I mean, to in but, the state of Georgia. You ain't got for the, for the middle school, for middle school and high school. It's like it's more curriculum. You know, they already have the curriculum in place. They already have the assignments. So I'm really, you know, yeah. just getting the kids to the next level. If that you, makes sense. The you the teach for the test. Standard code. You teach for the test. Hello. No, so so it's a private school. No, no, don't don't just don't just ride past my question. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it's two it's two people talking to me at once. I don't, I don't. Sorry. What's, what's the difference between a uh, Oxford comma and a standard colon? Oxford comma, we use that more than the the, the standard colon. No, no, what's the difference? Not how often we use it. <laughs> hey man, potato, potato, use it, use it. What? Wow, uh, you got so. So you're gonna be a teacher now, teaching to the test, you know. Um, yeah, no, no, once again, it's a private school. I don't know if you heard that part, but yeah. So we don't, they don't, they don't have to take any standardized tests, but we do do SAT and um, ACT prep starting in seventh grade. So I, I definitely be helping with that. 
And, um, are you even? Are you certified to be a teacher? Do you have to get like a teaching certification or something? Not for private school. I'm gonna keep, school. I'm gonna keep in it. But listen, even <laughs> even regular school, even regular school, they they hire you on with, hey, bro, get that shit in six months. We'll fuck with you. So I know some folks right now that aren't even licensed because it's just it is what it is. But I just you know I could have kept this from y'all. I told y'all so. Don't Dang, be. I mean, my mom was one of them. My mom was teaching, but she ain't got no license. They, 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 once again, the curriculum is already there. You know, you know, the prescribed literature is already there. And it's, like I said, they're trying to grow the school. So what happened last year, the headmaster and the uh, principal had, actually had to go back in the classroom. And they're trying to, you know, step out and do different things. So that's what they, um, they did reach out. And I, like I said, it is going to be a, a decrease, but it's just that quality, quality of life and that work-life balance. That's 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 real major for me, especially at this point. You need to work uh, your yeah. own job. No, I, feel like that, I feel that through. You said what? You need a work from home child like me. Oh yeah, that'd be well. I don't. I don't already committed. I don't signed a contract and everything. You yeah. signed a contract like with said, Longhorn too. Nah, hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. It wasn't no contract. That was this on some. Hey, you, you fuck with us, all right? There, there wasn't no term limits or nothing like that. Like, and it's just like little shit. Like I said, like today was supposed to be a, a eight a.m. to four p.m. Bro, I was in that bitch till six thirty-five. Hey, get get, get, get used to that. Cause teachers, they often stay like, late nah. and they work on the weekends. Yeah. Hell no. Nah. So once again, once again, it's a private school, and um, so none of that. We were done at three thirty. Granted, I, it will be work at home, but it's it's coming from Waffle House and then coming from Longhorn. It, it's the hours aren't going to be. I can guarantee they ain't, ain't going to be nothing like that, man. So so that, you're that not going to be in South Africa with the children. Actually, our, our school that this this school actually does go to uh, Africa. They take trips. You they told us one, a trip next semester. Yeah, yeah. I'm not gonna go though. I, I don't. Uh, I'm straight on it. Okay. Why I'm you ain't gonna go? Ten I mean, don't you have to go? Um, ain't that in your contract now? No, 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 no. So, so only first of all, only a select, a select like ambassadors, if that makes sense. Like the for the kids on the kids side, you know, only like the headmaster, the founder. Like two or three other adults for chaperoning. I think like the basketball coach. Um, who else? There's like two or three other adults, but I'm I'm straight on it. I don't feel like you know watching other people's kids ten thousand miles. <laughs> so, so like you know, I love kids, but they, they yeah, I'm straight on it. So without an English degree or a teaching degree in early education, Laurence has climbed the ladder of. Uh, education and is now teaching not at, at your public school but at a private institution. Um, so three cheers for Laranza Hip Hip Hooray! Um, yeah, that's that's a great accomplishment. Uh, I don't know if that's a scam or if that's a swindle or if that's just your your brain hey, at work. But he's from Atlanta, it's a finesse. Yeah, oh, it's a finesse. <laughs> yeah, like I, I literally told y'all, like I was subbing for them last year. And so, like I said, it's just certain things that you just don't forget. Like they were reading like some Shakespeare stuff. Like it was How does some you know Shakespeare? Juliet, Othello, and but it was like stuff we read, you know, and stuff we watched, and you know how how much it gets recycled and recycled. And that's what they were talking about. Just the difference between the book version versus that movie. That you remember that uh, Romeo and Juliet, that live action with uh, what's that white man name? Not Robert De Niro. What's the other white guy? Y'all know what I'm talking about. He, he didn't get an Oscar until like recently. He Leonardo. only dates 29 year olds. There we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. So I I, I forget his name all the, all the time, but but yeah. So English is one of those subjects. Like I said, so there's gonna be more essay because it's like once again, it's six to twelfth grade. So it's not. I'm not teaching anybody how to read. Six to twelve. Okay. Yeah. That's, right. 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 So it's, it's gonna be. It's gonna be primarily PSAT, SAT, ACT. So we're gonna be doing. Wait, a lot of that. So you're teaching English from sixth to twelfth grade? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, yeah. Ain't saying you can't do it. Yeah, I'm me just saying that's what it sounds like. That's all it sounds like. I'm about to get off this pod. <laughs> like uh, something else I don't like. Like when I tell my friends, like even when I became a realtor, people were like crowning me. And I, I really felt the way. I'm gonna be honest. Like, are you real? We saw it real today. Yeah, no, like, I, I'm I believe ass. in you, like, bro. I believe people in you. Do that, like, people do that to me all the time because I joke so much and I, I show so much like laughter. And I love to laugh, but like that's the problem. Folks don't take me seriously. So it's all right, right man. We definitely <laughs> take you seriously, but you we have to. Take you seriously. Like you said, you already signed, signed, submitted. Yeah, yeah. We, yeah, yeah I, I did I mean, not see this coming. 
I mean, I'm just allow so, me to yeah. allow me to work through my emotions of shock and awe because I just didn't see it coming, brother. You surprising yeah. me right now? Yeah. No, nah, I just I just know this is what's about to be for like everybody, and then it's gonna try folks trying to discredit me, and I'm gonna just be like, all right, I gotta stop talking to you for a couple months. Nah. No, no discredit. Nah. You a, you a, nah. uh, you an educated Hampton man. That's all. Yeah, exactly. Excellence. Exactly. Um, yeah, I got a degree from. At the university, I think I could teach, you know. Yeah. Not yeah. Real, I know everything now, but what English teacher really does, like, I don't know. But next slide. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You you had to, like, give us a little bit of leeway because it is very shocking. Um, not only how you got into this position and what you're doing, and I think it's great that you got into this position, um, but also um, the state of the world and the need for teachers. Um in in the america because teachers are leaving and i think that's a great thing that that place that um that your daughter goes to is actually looking to grow bigger so it is a little bit of a shock you know but anyway demarco how are you doing i'm doing well y'all um uh, you know, got out party a little bit over the weekend uh Dang. shout out to my friend raya Turn just turned to big two five. What? I got some young friends. Um, <laughs> yeah, she had a dope little party, rent out a little spot for us to come through and hang out at. Uh, work friend, this a work friend. Yeah, we met at we met at work. Yeah, dude. Wow. Yeah, she's she's. Oh, that's what's up. That's what's up. Lorante, uh, uh, no. <laughs> Down, no, boy. no, Lorante, like older that. man, older woman. Nah, Lorante, like them young girls. I don't, no, I, I don't think them. He likes older Lorente women. Like them. Lorante, like them all. I'll just play. I'll just play. Uh, See, that's the problem. Bro. That's it's... like, that's what folks don't take me seriously. But, uh, no, Ooh, not because nah, you, you ain't lying. <laughs> I, I saw the pictures and I, I, I just, I don't know. I just assume everybody's, you know, Never oh, plus. you saw the pictures. So you already know what she looked yeah. like. I, well, I saw a picture of the mm-hmm. group. I'll say that. I saw mm-hmm. I saw the picture of the group. Everybody and everybody with you know thirty plus. Not in a she bad way. Just, you know. She listened to this podcast, man. So you know. Hey, what's well, up? I said, hey. <laughs> you can tell her. <laughs> well, hey, um, right. Happy belated birthday. Happy belated mm-hmm. birthday. But yeah, uh, I mean, other than that, ain't really, ain't really a whole lot been going on, man. Called out of work Monday. Just needed a break. <laughs> Um, <laughs> you know, been uh watching a lot of TV. Started watching Bleach that nobody reminded me about. So <laughs> I told you in April, and there was this in whole April. Thing. It's July, bro. Oh my god! And it's oh the third week god. of July, and they on their third episode. You should have reminded exactly. me exactly. Come out. I was watching it, so it, it I, I don't nothing. know how you. Dorante, was you know. watching it? Dorante doesn't watch Bleach. <laughs> Time for a confession. <laughs> <laughs> Lorante doesn't watch Bleach. But, but I mean, if you watch it, then you would know when your show coming back on. So I knew in April. I said it in April. And now we're here in July. Why didn't nobody tell me? No, you forgot. You forgot. Or you weren't listening. It's, it's one of those two. Mm. Anyways, thanks for asking. I am doing fine. My jobs are doing fine i'm working still both of them um Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. yeah yeah nothing major i just need before Lorante leaves his second job i need to go ahead and get in there and get me one of those steaks three days 30 percent discount got three days okay (laughs) you're where in in marietta covington conyers no yeah i'm always out in conyers Okay. But look, look, no damn long horn. Right, right. But what I was gonna say, let me see if I can find like they give like dining passes because you know it's like a corporate umbrella, right? Uh, so Olive Garden, Ruth Chris, Bay Breeze, season fifty two. Oh, I've never been to Ruth Chris. And yeah, yeah. So they're all under that same umbrella. So we get like a thirty percent discount, wherever. But let me find my um. See if I can just shoot you like the little discount card to see if you can just order some online. And, you know. All right. Thanks. So, um, so let me go ahead and put y'all on something. This is another uh, film, another black film or a series. Um, it's on Amazon. It just started. It's called I Am a Virgo. Mm. 
Mm. And it's really, really good. It stars ja- Jaheim or Gerard or something who um, debut was in Moon- Moonlight. Mm. Mm. And what it's about is um, he is a abnormally large boy, actually a giant. And in the first episode, um, it, it actually shows how Black abnormally large or tall people were treated and it goes about his coming to coming coming of age story so it shows him being mm. sheltered all the way up till he's 18 and then when he's 18 he escapes and it shows his um dynamic with his family it shows you know his new friends um and you know everything that happens and but that's just the first episode i think that everybody needs to watch it it's really, really funny. It's really insightful. Um, and it's on Amazon Prime. It's called I Am a Virgo. I Am a Virgo. Hmm. And it stars, what's his name? Jarrell, Jarrell Jerome. What you say? I'm going to put y'all on something too. This, uh, this show was uh written by Bruce Lee Uh-oh. uh back in the day. Somebody else picked it up and they just turned it into a, a real show or whatever. It's called Warrior. And it's a uh so it's a it's a Chinese show. Um, but it's in English. Uh, you know, Bruce Lee was like Chinese American. Um, but it's about these Chinese gangs in San Francisco vying for power while at the same time they dealing with like Irish immigrants, they dealing with um, you know, like the, the 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 it's like right before the whole railroad rush where you know we get the like the Chinese people working on the railroad trope. It's right before mm-hmm. all that, mm-hmm. and so um, they they trying to not get back. They trying to not get deported back to China. They trying to you know what I'm saying do a crime in peace and take care of the <laughs> Chinese folks. Uh, it's a dope show. It's a dope show. Um, and this and this is some great fight scenes in this joint. Yeah, that's what I heard. That that show has great, amazing fight scenes that like last mm-hmm. for a long time. Um, wow. Yeah, that's what I heard too. Yep, they on their third season. They got they on the sixth episode of the third season, so it's plenty to watch. Ooh, to yeah. <clears throat> and what, uh, on what platform like, is that on again? It's on uh, HBO Max uh, or ooh, just Max perfect. nowadays. Okay, I know. Was, ooh, they uh, keep rebranding. They keep rebranding. Yeah. I thought I was on the CW. But still ain't got name. none of the ain't still ain't got none of the like Cinemax stuff on the any of that softcore that I used to <laughs> that I grew up on. That you used to sneak and watch. I ain't have to I sneak. Mean, oh. No. Oh. Um grown ass teenager. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Uh is there anything else that we want to discuss? Right, quickly, really quick. Adam Eve, uh, she has a little, a little situation. I didn't watch it yet. I just saw it on my timeline. But she has a little situation on a uh, Prime Video. One of the characters from the Invincible. Oh show. yeah, she got a, uh, she a got a prequel. It's a single yeah. episode out. Yeah, because the the series yeah. come back in November. Woo woo. So so just be on the lookout for that. Well, if you got time, head on over to Prime and do that there. But that's all I got. Sorry, fellas. Go ahead. Go ahead. Did you Donna. see it yet? No, I didn't. Like I said, I didn't. I, I, man, it's like I said, I fuck with Longhorn for the opportunity to make money, but that's uh, I'm watching man. tonight. Work, sleep, Practice. work, sleep, <laughs> work, sleep. That's all I was doing. All right. Well, if that's the case, let's go ahead and get into this next episode of Black Geek energy therapy did not work for me and let me tell y'all about it so i had to attend therapy through my old job and it was horrible i had this russian intern who was my therapist and she was not relatable at all then we both had a language barrier that we had to go through every time we talked also she made me come to our therapy sessions at 4 p.m on Fridays and you know I had to drive through downtown Atlanta traffic while it was in its peak. Now I have said on this podcast that I'm not going to therapy again 
and that I just need people to tell me what their therapist says to them so I can use their advice on myself. But you know what? I may have to rethink that. Y'all, Better Health is an online counseling service that allows you to connect to a licensed therapist from the comfort of your own home or boat or cruise ship, car, or wherever you may be. The best part is you can switch therapists at any time and you have full access to virtual sessions through text, phone, and video conferencing. No matter what you're going through, BetterHelp has a professional who can help. And because you're a listener to Black Geek Energy, you can get 10% off your first month by visiting betterhelp.com slash bgepod. That's betterhelp.com slash bgepod for 10% off your first month. So go ahead, take care of your mental health today, check out BetterHelp, and let's get back to the show. Too. And we're back. So on today's episode, we are going to talk about what recently just happened in the world, San Diego Comic-Con. And let me tell you, this wasn't an explosive Comic-Con like it has been in the past. You know, not only is the writer strike going on, uh, not only is the uh, SAG strike going on and none of the actors could be there to promote their own movies but also it seemed like these studios didn't have a lot to promote um, or mm. that they were going to promote it elsewhere um, San Diego Comic Con Hall H used to be the big um, place where you know Black Panther the Catholic Black Panther first came out and these big amazing I think like the Superman first Superman movie or Superman versus Batman was first Batman. revealed it at Hall H in San Diego Comic Con. But this year, no, the big Hall H premiere was more Spider Man footage. So this is now the second big event that Spider Man 2, which is coming out on PlayStation 5, um, had a uh, uh, big stage to uh, reveal more about its game. And they revealed the first look at Venom actually being Venom and not part of the spider suit. But uh, one of the reasons why San Diego Comic-Con is not that big anymore is because A, ever since the pandemic, these cons have been going down, and B, everything is wrapped up in Disney. (laughs) And Disney has been transitioning to D23, which is their conference. So at D23, they um, show all the Pixar movies, all the Disney studio movies and TV shows and everything, all the Marvel, all the Star Wars, all the National Geographic, all of the people, all the studios, all the Jim Henson under um, uh, the Disney brand usually or are starting to make their appearance at the d23 conference so that's a big reason why nothing was revealed there but i have some things that were revealed at san Diego comic-con and i kind of want to go over them today if that's okay with you guys yeah let's do it first (laughs) already got me here now what i'm gonna say no (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> first i want once reveal that um it was a surprise reveal during the invincible panel and Lorenza already spoiled this um because i was doing this first up <laughs> but during the invincible <laughs> panel it was revealed not only that the actual date it, it would be shown is on november the 2nd but also the Adam Eve prequel um, that shows her when she was just developing her powers was released. So, I mean, if that's what they were doing this whole time is that little Adam Eve show, (laughs) I'm going to be upset. Um, I haven't seen it yet. I don't know when I'm going to see it. I'm not really that interested in Adam Eve. But then I would say that the premise of Invincible and the violence of Invincible uh, is making me a little bit more it's time to go watch it but I haven't been rushing to go see this this so so really really quick I saw somewhere online that said they actually 
they're wrapping up season two, but they have, they've already done all the voice work for season three of Invincible, so that <laughs> the time in between won't be as long. So that's something we can look forward to. And mm-hmm. um, I love Adam Eve, man. I, I love her. I, I just love the her power and like just the capabilities that she can definitely do. I, I love Adam Eve. She's one of my favorites. No, mm-hmm. I, I ain't really fuck with her. She got she got that 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 uh, holier than thou attitude. Yeah. Yeah, and I think it's because me and Demarcus read the comic that we know a little bit more about her. Um, her power does evolve a great, great deal towards the end, but it's just that she's so annoying. She holds Mark back, and yeah, I don't, I don't really bang with her, but um, I do like her as Mark's girlfriend. You better do? Than I like. Yeah, a lot better than I like fucking Amber. Wow, Amber was annoying. She was like, okay, and you got power? You could have told me. Hey, man, I just told you I got super... Come on, I'm a superhero. Fuck with me. She just ever had attitude the whole time. Just like, oh, my goodness. I mean, Mark was not showing up for this girl. And <laughs> if she if she knew why, it's like, yo, what's more important? It's dinner date or saving lives? Watch her ass say saving lives. So he, he flew where he he flew somewhere crazy to get one of her favorite desserts or something. Mm-hmm. He, it's like across okay. the city. It wasn't too crazy. Oh, okay, okay. You know, the dad is the one that flies to Italy or something for the mom. Yeah. But uh Yeah, mm-hmm. so the second season is going to be just eight episodes. So <gasps> pissed. But oh, no, 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 no. It's, it's a part A and part B, right? I don't I, I didn't read that. I did not read that part. part. No, I didn't Mm. read that part. Oh, with the remaining episodes premiering in early 2004. So you're right. Yeah. Yeah. So part A will just be um, in eight episodes. And Robert Kirkman did say that there will be a lot of scenes, including a lot of fight scenes that did not appear in the comic book. So. Something for us to look forward to. Wow, that's a that's the first. It's usually opposite. They usually pull shit out and don't. You know, I'm, sure, I'm, sure they still are. I'm sure they still are. <laughs> yeah. And on that note, Mortal Kombat One, which is the complete reimagining of the Mortal Kombat series after Liu Kang ascended into God- Godhood, um, announced their next. Well, their first slate of DLC. Um, once that game is released, they are. Um, hold on, I want to talk a little. Bit. I want to ask some questions about Mortal Kombat One. Uh, is that already out or not? No. Okay. Um, uh, where's Raiden? Raiden. Damn. So the trailer oh, Raiden? showed Raiden as a kid training. As a kid training. Yeah, as a kid or a teenager training. Wow! So they don't swap roles. I guess the student has become the master and the master of the student. <laughs> I guess. I guess. Right. But yeah, I well, haven't um, really delved into all that because Mortal Kombat is such a big convoluted universe that so know. is Luke Kang an elder god or he's just a regular god? And what's the difference? I don't know the difference. <laughs> he's he has achieved godhood. I remember that from the last he achieved godhood in the last game. How did he do um, that? I don't I don't know. Cause I watched okay, I, I, I watched a video <laughs> describing what happened until then, but I watched it shortly after the last game was released a couple of years ago. So mm. I don't remember. Um it was either last game or the game before that. He achieved Godhood during one of those, one mm. of those games. So right. I gotta go mm. back and watch that little YouTube video. But yeah, All he's right. a god now. I don't know if he's elder or regular. What so. uh, one more question. Can he still turn into a dragon? I think so. I, I I haven't seen him do it, but I think so. <laughs> okay. All right. Go ahead. What's the DLC? <laughs> so the DLC does feature some of the um, smaller, lesser known, um, well, lesser known to me, uh, Mortal Kombat characters, but it also um, is going to feature three more characters that I think that we are going to be interested in. Peacemaker. Whose segment is this, Lorante? Yours or Jared? <laughs> no, 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 he, he, you can do it, uh, Lorante, you can do it. Name all three of them now. 
All right. So the first up, since he already said it, Peacemaker. I don't know if y'all saw this on Max. It's uh, one of the guys from the Suicide Squad movies. Jane Watch Who's the Peacemaker? <laughs> peacemaker. He's just a guy who loves guns. And no, what's his real name? Uh, shit, if I know. John Cena? <laughs> That's the actor. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but moving on, moving on. Character two is going to be Homelander, like I just said so far. And then the third guy is going to be Omni Man. So Omni Man will be able to fight Omni Man. Omni Man. Okay. Yeah. 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 Omni Man is going to be in there. And we can end What's that. What's Omni Man real name? I don't even know what's his alien name. <laughs> <laughs> what's his alien? That's gonna be my next question. <laughs> what's his real, real name? <laughs> right, right, not that Earthling name. That's fake. So, um, Peacemaker, who is also known as Chris Smith, uh, will be in the game. Uh, you may remember him from the um, show on HBO Match, which is a really good show, by the way. Um, uh, he like comedies. Yeah, yeah, it was like a comedy, a little action comedy, but it was really good. Um, he was in Suicide Squad too, and he and it will be the John Cena version of him, not the comic book version of him. Um, mm -hmm. Omni Man, who is What's also the in the comic book version and the John Cena version. The the comic book version is a little bit more serious. Okay, bet. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Omni Man, who is Nolan. Grayson, I believe. Mm, mm -hmm. yeah, that is Nolan his name. Grayson. Nolan Grayson. Mm -hmm. um, what's his uh, Viltramite name? I don't there know that go. one. <laughs> Me either. <laughs> I'm trying to find out. I'm about to say. So, uh, um, yeah, Omni Man will be in his first computer generated form because on um, our previous forms, he has only been animated and in comic books. So, in this form, he will be computer generated. And um, J.K. Simmons, who is the voice actor of Omni Man, will be playing him. And last is uh, Homelander from The Boys, uh, the rapist, murdering superhero that wow. we all love to hate. Um, What's Homelander? Huh? Oh, I don't know. I don't know that one. <laughs> but Homelander um, is going to be also in this show. And I am very, 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 very interest, interested to see not only their fighting styles, but also their fatalities. And you know what? Now that I think of it, I'm also interested to see, because Mortal Kombat 1 does this thing where you can assist. Like in, what was it? Marvel vs. Capcom 2, right? Mm -hmm. you, you have assist cool characters somebody, that can uh, come in and jump out. Was that Marvel vs. Capcom 2? Yes, sir, it was. Yeah, so Mortal Kombat 1 is doing that where you could have characters jump in and jump out. And um, I'm very interested to, to see, like, a, I was about to say Chun Li, but a Sonya Blade or Johnny Cage um, fighting someone, and all of a sudden Omni Man runs in, does a move, and then jumps back out. So I think they will be great assist characters, and I really want to see their fatalities because I know they're going to be amazing. Mm -hmm. Homelander's real name is John Gilman. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I wouldn't have guessed that one. I wouldn't have guessed that. I would have guessed John. That would have been my, my first guess. But Gilman, I would have like, mm. Gilman, the fuck? It doesn't get any wider. <laughs> it does not. It does so, not. So I, thought, I thought since he was raised. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you go ahead. No, I was gonna say I thought he was just raised as Homelander. Like he knew he wasn't even getting I mean, an ultimate. He was just right because he was raised from, from you know, from the them, from box. So yeah, yeah, that's why I, mean, I, I thought I thought he didn't even have an ultimate. But mm -hmm. he definitely was raised as Homelander. But they gave him like a alter ego human identity because they, they wanted him to be able to relate to people. But we see how that turned out. Man. <laughs> so so are yeah, we gonna be playing, yeah. playing on Mortal Kombat One when it comes out? You know what? Um, I had considered buying some games over the weekend, and these price tags on games have got outrageous. And this is a digital copy. Like, why am I paying eighty dollars no. eighty dollars for a digital download? Yeah. Nah, y'all can miss that. Yeah. yeah, because and then that's... fucking Spider Man that I was playing the the Spider Man one that was on PS Four, 
uh, it, they took it out the that gone PlayStation Network store yeah. for free, mm-hmm. and that's fifty dollars. Why am I paying fifty dollars for a game that's four years old? We had a whole conversation. So, did you play it or did you just download I, it? No, I started playing it. Like I was, I was in the middle of it. That's yeah. what I'm that is crazy. I, I and then I tried to jump to uh, Miles Morales. So, like, you know, what? I just played Miles Morales Spider Man while I wait for it to be free again, and. The Miles Morales, it, it like picks up somewhere in the middle of the Spider Man one story. I'm sure everybody no, can play it already knows after. this, but I'm it's, I'm learning. Mm-hmm. I'm learning all it this. I'm just like, bro, after. I don't want to do this. I don't want to skip to the to the middle of a of a story. So so did you um downgrade your PSP plus? No. I don't know what's going on, Dan. You bought the game, remember? That's what you told me. Oh yeah, I bought the game. I was day one. Oh yeah, so I mean, it's, it's not going to affect you. That's not. It's not going to affect you the same way. I looked it up, and they said, "Oh yeah, when when they take stuff out of the PSN store, like you, lo- even if you have it downloaded, you lose access." That's crazy. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, that's life, man. I mean, because I, I mean, for all my games, even though I don't, even though I haven't downloaded these games, I can still download them and play them because I put them on my, on my thing on my like registered games list that is mine as long as i have psn so i don't know what's happening so it's a, so it's a lot of games I'm, if you download a game now even now, if you download a free game that they then remove from the store later then you you will also not have access because you paid for the spider-man game it didn't matter whether it was in the store or not for you but okay never mind i i don't i i, I don't get it and Okay. Going off of Homelander, um, the trailer for The Boys Gen V was released, which tells the story of like the boys universe. In the boys universe, there's this um, Professor X, uh, Gray Malkin house, where they, um, they, the people who were born with the superpower gene go there to develop their craft, see who they want to be heroes, do all that stuff like they do in the X-Men. So that was released um, the other day during Comic-Con. And it looks pretty interesting, but as usual with the boys, it doesn't look like the comic book. Like, What is this? Com- what is it called now? It's called Gen V. The title? Gen V. Gen V. Oh, 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 right, right, right. And this oh. is our... This is a- is this a game or is it a show? It's a show. Going to be on Amazon. It's a The Boys spinoff. Mm, and it's already out? September. Oh. September. So, so in the comics, the Grey mm-hmm. Hawking, I'm doing that in quotes because I don't know what it's called in The Boys comic, but in that comic, um, this school <laughs> was... It was like three comments long in this school and they like, I don't know, it wasn't three comments long. It was like a little after dog in the school. And and in the school, you saw how um, horrible the students were, how uh, they were having sex with each other, killing each other, mm. and doing all of this stuff. So I'm interested to see how they adapt that to the boys universe. But I'm kind of hesitant to like it because the trailer made it look like it was some teenage comedy type of thing. So, and it was the same with um, what was that thing called? Hero Gasm. Hero Gasm mm. now was a six episode special comic book that they whittled down into mm. one, uh, like like half an hour because it wasn't even a host. It was a part of that show. And in Hero Gasm, they were doing some off the wall stuff. Like Du Bois was the first comic book I read where, 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 where I saw like pages and pages of dicks, and mm. I didn't get that during Hero Gasm on TV. So I was very, very ashamed. So yeah, we will see how the boys does this Gen V because I think I will watch it. What about y'all? I watched that. Yeah, Is it animated? Good. No. Okay. Because that uh, they they released that the boys diabolical something or rather, and I wasn't I wasn't feeling it. I liked it. Hmm. I liked it. Hmm. Didn't do it for me. 
Hmm. But um, this I'll give a shot. I'll watch it again. Um, because I do remember the whole school. <clears throat> the description you gave is giving me a uh, deadly class vibes. Hmm. Uh, they made that into a show too. Um, if y'all haven't heard of it, go ahead and check it out. Um, I heard but the deadly I read it. You haven't read it? I mean, the Deadly Class comic is pretty good. The show, I think I watched like an episode or two, and I was like, mm, it's not it's not giving me the same vibes. It's not coming as hard mm-hmm. as the uh, comic. Yeah, the boys' TV show doesn't go as hard as the comic. And I'm like, HBO would have went all the way. <laughs> so it was, I need to step it up. But it's really good. It's still really good, though. It's still really good. The first season. I enjoy them both. Uh, you just you just upset you didn't get to see enough dick. <laughs> That's a part of it, but <laughs> okay. but I mean there wasn't a lot of violence. Like um like 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 the first scene where you know that Homelander is up to no good when he rapes um who's that girl that that girl that joins um, the seven yeah Starlight that he doesn't isn't really. Mean- that isn't really one to one. It does have to be one to one, but it's not as hard hitting as it was in a comic. Like you yeah. see the three heroes with their pants down, and they are surrounding her, and it didn't hit us hard. Yeah, Wait, what? Yeah, you got to read that The Boys comic, man. Yeah, I forgot it was, it was all three of them. Yeah, um, and then she is like, then the next scene, she's like in the bathroom and she's throwing up, and she looks completely different. Like she's crying, and she she looks like she's she's been through an ordeal, and I, I just didn't get that from um, what happened. So, yeah, I mean, I will relate this to uh, the first scene in uh, the, or early in uh, Goblin Slayer. In the first act of God, oh, that was episode. a good one. It it wasn't it wasn't it. Um, but a lot of women who I know do did not enjoy that, and that prevented them from being able to get into the show, mm. which I which I completely understand. Because yeah. as a man watching that, it's like I was like, that's crazy. That's crazy that's happening, and I would hate for it to happen to anybody. But this is like entertainment value, and I think for a woman watching that, it's like, yo this is my real life. Like this could happen to me. Maybe not one for one, but still like it, it hits too close to home and they, and they're not yeah. trying to alienate the, the, the female viewers. Yeah. Right. Cause that'll turn, like you said, it turned straight off. Did that's the opening scene in the first episode? Yeah. yeah they're like, nah, that's it. <laughs> um, y'all never answered if we're going to play Mortal Kombat together. Um, the market should say he's not buying no more games. So, okay. I guess that was the answer. Never <laughs> mind. Um, I mean, if, it, if it's like $50, if it's like $50, it's maybe $60, I'll buy it. I don't even think it's, it's going to be $60. They're done, they're done with that. 60. 70 for digital downloads only, 80 yeah. for, for card copies. Shut and, and the yes. front door. Let, let's, let's go back because that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Because they aren't making the disc, where they have to make the disc, print the disc, then they have to get the little the case for the disc and print the little paper insert, which they don't anymore. Then mm-hmm. I guess that you could count in the little uh, digital book, not digital, but the booklet that comes with it, which they nope. don't do anymore. They but, started doing those a long time ago and the yeah. uh, price of games didn't drop. Yeah, they didn't. So what they need to do is go ahead and rebel against walmart gamestop and best buy because that's like like that lobby is keeping the prices up but then they're not going to drop the prices anyway so let's move yeah i mean so that explains like you know that's the disc or whatever but what about the digital downloads you know what and i i I know a few people that work in the gaming industry and they be getting paid like so i guess it's just game good game designers are expensive yeah yeah and and they are worth Whatever they get paid, because God of But work. is the money going to them or the CEOs? Like they might Ooh, get a cut. Like, are the designers God. getting? Are the designers getting that money? No, nah, they getting paid. They getting paid like a salary, like me. And I'm like, that's still a lot to us, like regular folks. But at the tip top, what they really making? You know, yeah, because that's, that's the question I always met. Because yeah. whoever owned the rights to that game, they making money hand over foot all the time on that game, which I guess makes sense. Because if I, if I, if I, if I. If I Make the if I come up with the idea for a game, do do a bunch of the groundwork, and then I get somebody a bunch of folks to help me fill in the gaps. It's like I hired y'all to do a job. This is my idea. Mm-hmm. 
So let's talk about mm. Superman War World. Um, this is Ooh. the Superman show that was Superman movie that was just released. Um, I don't know if it's on Max yet, but I know the digital download has been released. It's about um, Superman, and it is the first R-rated um, uh, DC animated superhero film. Ooh, that's going to yeah. be good. Yeah, it's going to be very good. See some penis. <laughs> <laughs> no, not at all. I actually don't know much about it because I didn't read anything because I just want to be surprised. Um, but I think, you know, you talk about World World, you're talking about Mogul. So mm -hmm. I think that he will be the big bag. But um, from the half a preview that I saw, it looked kind of like a primal Superman. I don't mm. know what the movie is about. I guess I just got to go watch it. I'm, um, I'm re-watching uh, Justice League right now. And I just, you know, I saw the World World episode not too long ago. It doesn't. It didn't feel like that significant of an arc to have a movie, but I, I granted I did not read these comics, so the the story in the comic could be like super in depth, and World War could be a whole thing. But that's not that's what fun. it seems like. Yeah, it's not. The Martian uh, Manhunter is also there. The Martian Manhunter. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's not in the. He's not in the tournament, but he also he's also on World World. So I wonder if they're gonna do that. Mm. Is it going to be? No, it's animated. It's animated. Never mind. Yeah, it's animated. Because mm -hmm. the uh, the Martian Manhunter was in the Justice League movie, wasn't he? The mm -hmm. remake. Yeah, and like for only for like a few seconds, like yeah. real quick. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's talk about another superhero. Um. That and, and that was another thing. Uh, DC also didn't have nothing to show because a all the dc movies are um gone and b uh uh the the guy james gunn hasn't released his movie yet <laughs> or or release anything he hasn't even released uh, his uh casting yet and he won't for wow. a while because of this um this strike going on so that's the reason why there is no dc Stop. Pause for one second. Pause for one second. I'm sorry to interrupt. So I watched that Flash movie, and I saw when it I tell you, it took me like six attempts to watch it. I saw it three. <laughs> like it, I just kept falling asleep, and it, like the first time I fell asleep was surprised. Like, damn, I ain't even get past the first five minutes. Watched it again. Felt, I just kept falling asleep, and it was just like how I saw it. I'm not mad. I'm like, okay, it's decent. But if I went to the movies and paid like hard money, hard earned money on it, I would have been upset because it was. Uh, like DC animated universe, I love it, man. Their 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 cinematic universe, on the other hand, yeah, I don't I don't I don't get it. I don't I don't get how they keep missing the mark so so much. Uh, yeah. But okay, I'm sorry, I'm off it. I'm off. I just had to. No, 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 no. We can talk about it off. for a second, but that's um the what was it called the uh CGI? What in the world was that? Yeah. What was the CGI in that? Like, really, oh. the CGI in the Flash TV series? <laughs> well, the first few seasons of the Flash TV series was great, but the On CGI CW. in that yeah. movie. I what I hated most about the Flash movie was how they how they did the super speed. They got him running in slow motion with everything else around him moving super fast. I'm just like, this doesn't make any sense. Like, why are his like? Everything's moving super fast. Why are his feet moving that slow? Yeah. <laughs> and then, did y'all get how it was a different Batman? No, Cause... that shit was wild. It was still Bruce Wayne, but a different Bruce Wayne. Yeah. I ain't like that. Did y'all get that? I didn't. I didn't get it. I mean, I, I kind of well, yeah. which which one? Because because I liked it because like that's that's one part I did like because it played on the different dudes that played. Batman. Um, they had Michael. What's his, what's his Michael name? Michael Keaton. Keaton. Mm -hmm. And then on the back end, like they had, even though he came back to his timeline, he had a different Batman, which was George Clooney. Mm -hmm. So that, so I, I did, I did kind of, even though that was like random. But the first one, yeah, that wasn't Ben Ben Affleck. That was that was some random. That first Batman was a random rando. I. I think if you didn't watch, I think if you didn't, if if we didn't have the knowledge we have. That would have made complete sense to us. 
But because we know what was supposed to be there, we was like, what? what? Wait, hold on now. We took a wrong turn somewhere. Where is Batman's daddy? Yeah. Well, I can usually suspend my belief when I'm in the movie theater or when I'm, when I'm watching a movie. I can usually suspend that belief because um, mm-hmm. I can usually do that very successfully. Uh, and, and even though I always read this source material, because I, I even said on this podcast that I was going to be Thomas Wayne because that's what I thought. But Same. the explanation that they gave as to why that was also Bruce Wayne didn't make any sense to me. Like it didn't make any sense just because the time splinters off, then you're because your parents are be different too. So and their mm. his parents weren't different. Right. So that didn't make any sense to me. But let's move on. Yeah. Um but thinking about it, thinking about it a little bit more, you know, that would have they would have had to dive into that story a lot during this whole flash movie because yeah. if there's like oh you know this is a this is batman's dad and his son died instead and and his wife's a joker it's like all right we want to know about this fuck this flash shit <laughs> i mean a, a, a yeah, quick yeah. flashback a quick flashback would have suffice but anyways and that would um, open up a whole nother movie uh you know movie uh channel pathway something for uh, james to think about mm-hmm. and that would be a very compelling uh, pathway to think about. Let's talk about something that happened a little bit before um, this comic book, uh, this Comic Con that really pissed me off and pissed off a lot of Marvel fans. So, spoiler alert if you're not reading it, Miss Marvel, okay, <laughs> Spider Man, I don't even know where to begin. Spider Man was trying to save, uh, uh, what's the redhead's name? I just Mary Jane because mm-hmm. she was being hunted. Mary Jane has acquired these powers where it's like a roulette wheel. It spins a roulette and she gets random powers. Um, so and somebody was hunting her, this new villain. Spider-Man was trying to um save uh uh her, and they were in New Jersey. The New Jersey superhero is Miss Marvel. Um, so Miss Marvel, because she has stretchy abilities and she can shape change. She uh, actually was with Mary Jane while Spider-Man was thinking he was leading the villain away. Um, And she was as Spider-Man and she got murdered by this new villain. Oh my goodness. Miss Marvel? Yeah, Miss Marvel. Mm, mm, mm. So sad. So Miss Marvel, who was the leader of the... They weren't called Young Avengers. What was Miss Marvel's team called? I don't Do you know. DeMarcus? No, because I didn't really like them. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Uh, they, they weren't were, the Young Avengers? No. They were called the Champions. They were uh... called the Champions. So, Miss Marvel, <laughs> Miss Marvel, she started off as the event, no, the Marvel Savior. Because she was right when that Marvel Fox deal was going sour. Um, Marvel was Xing out all the X Men. They were rewriting the mutant history like Squirrel Girl. They made her an inhuman. And um, and they were just slashing the com- the X books. So Miss Marvel was the inhuman savior. She got um transferred by the Terragon, by the Terra Genesis Cloud. And she was the actual uh, main character of the Avengers video game that came out a while ago that failed horribly. So then uh, Marvel released this Inhumans TV show, which also failed horribly. And then uh, Marvel bought Fox. And then they had the right to all the X-Men and mutants and everything. Skip forward to today. Marvel, I mean, Miss Marvel is doing a great job leading the champions, um, uh, interning for Norman Osborn, uh, the main hero of New Jersey. All the Avengers and Wolverine are on her side, and Captain Marvel, who is her namesake, also are on her side. And then she just dies. So it was a really touching scene um, in her funeral comic book when they were all at the... um, at the mosque doing their prayer or whatever. So then it was released as an addendum to that mosque comic book. Um, 
online that Miss Marvel would be coming back as a mutant. So you said what? you said that she started out as an inhuman. Yeah, yeah, she she's an inhuman. She got transformed by the Terra Genesis cloud. Like, there's no way. Okay, but but she is. I thought she had back. got a hold of. I I feel like I remember something something between her and like Captain Marvel, and that's how her powers got activated or something. Mm-mm. She got transformed by the Terra Genesis cloud. I remember she was on like a war for a little dock or something. Captain mm. Marvel was like her number one superhero. Mm. That's who she always looked up to. And she just modeled herself after that person. Okay. Yeah. But her powers uh, allow her to shapeshift. So mm-hmm. when she uh, came out of her cocoon, she is shapeshift into Captain Marvel. But, mm. um, but yeah, she's going to be a mutant now because, well, the after the Sinister storyline where Sinister was implanting his DNA into all the mutants when they were being resurrected, um, Jean Gray... Rapey. Yeah, Jean Grey mm-hmm. made it so that humans could also be um, resurrected if they died by like, you know, if a child died of cancer or a school shooting or whatever. Mm-hmm. So I guess that Miss Marvel is going to be a part of this thing, but they haven't released it yet. And yeah, she's coming back as a mutant, which is, you know, kind of weird because like now, I guess she was the last inhuman in all the comic books. So now there is not going to be any Ain't more. Ain't the humans on the moon? No. Oh, they all they're dead? off the moon. No, they're not dead, but they're lost in space somewhere. Okay, got you. Got you. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, now Miss Marvel, the last Inhuman is gone. And, you know, I wasn't really a big fan of the Inhumans. Like, I was the X-Men or the Mutants, but it's still kind of sad that, you know, the Inhumans gotta gotta die, especially like this. And there's no more Inhumans in comic books. I do feel like they're missing out. I do feel like there there's there's a lot there's a lot there because Black Bolt is a story all on his own. Yeah, yeah. You know? I remember the Black Bolt series that was just released a couple of years ago, where he was on Mars. That series was amazing. Um, uh, he not on Mars, but in jail. He was on. He was in jail, and him, um, trying to free himself from jail and return to the other Inhumans, and you know, it was that story was amazing. And I and and do we know Karnak's story yet? Like, why is he with the Inhumans when he's not in a human? And how does he know everybody's weakness? Like, I don't know, just things like that. So. Yeah. Miss Marvel is about to be a mutant, a new mutant coming out in her own special. Um, if you look online, you will see her in her oh. ex uniform, and yeah, she's gonna be a mutant. Somebody was telling me to go ahead and watch the Miss Marvel. Um, it's good, Miss Marvel. Show. It's good, it's a little yeah, bit it's a... go ahead. Oh, it's a little bit childish, but it's really good. It's actually on mm. ABC. Hmm. Well, it's not, it's, they, they like like air it on ABC. They are airing the first three episodes this weekend or last weekend on Sunday, and then the last ep- three episodes the next Sunday. Mm. Mm. Okay. So talking yeah, I, about, I, 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 oh, go ahead. go ahead. No, no, go ahead. You can say what you're gonna say. Oh, I, I would say I started it because. Uh, Captain Marvel was one of my favorites, especially in the MCU. I really like her. So I'm like, Miss Marvel, let me give it a shot. Like you said, you know, it's about a 13, 14 year old girl. She gets these powers and they kind of give a little bit of backstory. And then she goes, because she's like Middle Eastern. I don't want to mis- misrepresent the country. I forget which country. But she goes back home. She's Indian. Well, not back home. Indian. Oh, here we go. There we go. I was going to say, she's one of them. I, I didn't remember what, but. Because <laughs> they're all, all right, interchangeable, just... right? They're not American. No, so they're whatever. Not. No, that's they're what you not, said. That's, uh, that's why I didn't want to. I didn't want to misquote. I didn't want to misquote. So I just, hey, that's the Indian uh, area over there. But yeah, no. Nah, so so it was cool, but I kind of clocked out. Like it was, it was a part in there where I, I didn't even finish it, and I usually finish finish everything on them. But oh, she's Pakistani. Yeah, My she's bad. from Pakistan, and actually, that's um, what I say. She was some, but I was right, Lawrence. She's Middle East. <laughs> yeah, she's from Pakistan, saying. and it actually goes back because. 
this is the part you this, Lorante. If you kept watching it like two more episodes, you will find her out her backstory, which it is pretty interesting because her backstory goes into Britain's colonization of um India. Yeah, well, her, and why her grandmother and stuff, and she time yeah. traveled and, and yeah, uh, I, and, I saw that. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But it shows like why and how Pakistan was actually formed. So that was interesting because I didn't know. I didn't know any of that. So that was interesting to me to learn, you know, uh, how Pakistani was formed and uh, the people in it and what they had to go through. So it's it's actually mm-hmm. very, very, very interesting. So DeMarcus, I think you'll like it. All right. So continuing with this uh, comic book thing and continuing with the horribleness that is Peter Parker, we are going to talk about the best iteration of Spider-Man ever, the superior Spider-Man, which is uh, Dr. Octopus in Spider-Man's body. He's coming back in comic books. Uh, he is wow. the only um, Peter Parker, whatever, that I respect. He's the only one that I like. So, But he is coming back, uh, and they're saying it may be... Um, you know, he's coming back for like six episodes or six issues, and he was in there for the actual Spider Verse comic that was out um, right before the movie was released. But yeah, Superior Spider Man is coming back, and I know you hate him, Demarcus. But... I don't hate him. I just disagree wholeheartedly that he's the best Spider Man. Oh my god! No, because Spider Man is not about you know what I'm saying uh, like being the being the best hero, he's about being the best person. He's not even that. <laughs> All right, he's cool. not even that. And the Superior Spider-Man was the best version of Peter Parker. I don't think so. I don't think so. How can you not well, think so? Because because being the best version of Peter Parker ain't about doing everything perfectly. Well, maybe it should be. It ain't about it ain't about having a multi-million dollar company and spider robots spying on folks all around the city. Well, it's about being a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Well, it's maybe. Uncle Ben alive. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> okay, so there, there you go. There you go. <laughs> no. That's what I was that's, exactly. I thought superior, I thought superior one would have he would have got him, he would have you know, he's better, but hey. Well, no, 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 no. This was after Otto Octavius was a villain, and then Otto Octavius oh, okay. took over Spider Man's body once he died. Once Otto Octavius mm. died by Spider Man, he his mind took over Spider Man's uh, mind. So that's how we got to Superior Spider Man. Oh, okay. The the better Spider Man. So <laughs> that's the story. Uh, let's move on. Um, also at uh, uh, San Diego Comic Con, which is something that I thought interesting was uh, two more DC animated films were announced. Uh, The first one was Infinite, well, Crisis on Infinite Earths, which was DC's first um, crossover event. And The Mm -hmm. Watchman. um, Yes. The Watchman, which is the best movie to air on mute ever. Um, Because it just looks so beautiful. But those two movies are coming oh, okay. out very, very soon. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, no thoughts. All right. Well, moving on. No, 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 no. I, I, I thought you had some more. So Watchmen, I love Watchmen from the original movie to the um the short show. Not short, but the one season they had on HBO Max. I didn't get into the comics, but I, I love I love Watchmen Universe because it like like I said, the movie when the movie dropped, it just we had this thought of superheroes, right? And it just showed us, hey, not all these superheroes had superpowers back in the day. And they was fighting Nazis and shit, or not even Nazis, but they were fighting in Vietnam. They were still regular folks doing regular, mm-hmm. regular shit. So I, I love Watchmen. So I definitely, definitely will watch that. And what was the thing you said before Watchmen? Crisis on uh, Infinite Earths. Crisis on yeah. Infinite Earths. That's the first DC crossover. Okay, yeah. Um, I feel like there's a, isn't there a movie for that already out? So, not sure. Um, I don't think so. I know that it was adapted for the CW when they all came together the first time. Uh, But no, I I, I don't think so. Crisis on Infinite Earth, that's the one where Supergirl died. So, 
Uh-uh. It's um, it's an Arrowverse crossover event already. Mm-hmm. 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 Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, mm-hmm. is that gonna be animated or is that? Gonna... They're both animated. Oh, like live action movie? No, no, animated. DC yeah, movie. they're both oh, animated. Animated. animated movie. Oh, okay. I was about to say why. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Demarcus, you may find this interesting. Um, and the trailer was also released, but the um Star Trek Discovery, which is my excuse me, my favorite uh Star Trek show, is coming back for its last season. And Star Trek Lower Decks is also coming back, and both of those trailers were just released. So um I know that you said on here that Lower Decks was one of your favorites, and that is coming I back. I do like Lower Decks. Yeah, and uh, I think that the trailer showed them actually uh, ascending the ranks, moving up to another deck. So, we'll oh shit, okay, yeah, yeah. Um, let me just go through some more of these. Uh, the One Piece trailer, the actual trailer, and not the teaser, was mm-hmm. released. Nope. <laughs> Why not? Did you see it? Yeah, still. I mean, I saw. I think I saw like a, I let I, I saw it, I let it play for a second, and when I realized what it was, I was like, no, nope, nope, not doing this. <laughs> yeah. I'm not doing this with y'all. You know, um because we had that episode, I am interested in seeing it. Why don't you just watch a one piece movie, an animated one piece movie? Because it's not OVA. Mm. Uh, 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 uh. So I will watch the live action one on Netflix. I'll, I'll I'll give them my view. Cause I mean, y'all talked it up. I want to see how they do the black the black. You should just watch the show. I'm not watching that show ever. It is so because Damn. and you know you know what I want to say this. Y'all were going in on those fruits, and then out of nowhere, Aik said something about their their chi, and it's called something else. Hockey. Their hockey, and I was like. There's a whole nother, no, a whole nother method of power. power (laughs) What? So yeah, I was over it then. Like, nah, nah, I'm not gonna do one piece after that. Uh, So after his domestic violence charge, um, the creator of Rick and Morty, um, they said Mm -hmm. that uh, they are still doing the recasting for for that show. Um, they haven't mm. announced the recast, but they um they did announce that they are still doing the recast for that show, and they are um on the hook for about forty more episodes, um to Adult Swim. So this is something that they have to get Damn. done soon. It's like four more seasons. Yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, who who had the domestic violence charge? Uh, let me see. You said the creator. Yeah, it was the creator. It's, it's two of them. So one is like a voice actor, and Justin the other one is Rowland. like Dan Harmon. Yeah, Justin Rowland. Yeah, Justin who, is like the voice. Yeah, who does um Rick? Mm. Everybody. Yes. He does a lot, and he does like those random ass side characters too. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. He but those, they, what's the guy? Jeff McFarland type. So he um he had a domestic violence charge, so he got rid of. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cartoon, I mean, uh, once you Warner Brothers can't can't do that after all the stuff that they had to go through with James Gunn and these producers and all that other stuff, they have a lot of people who committed domestic domestic violence. Uh, on there that that they get paychecks to already mm-hmm. so they weren't going to add another one um and then my last thing which is something that excites me i know that um demarcus doesn't like this show i'm not sure about you um laurent tay but um the adventure time sequel or sideshow uh, fiona and cake is coming mm. back which tells the story of um the gender swaps um Jack Jake and Finn um mm-hmm. and how they um navigate the world and that trailer seemed very dramatic like uh 
I'm Adventure Time and it seemed a little bit more dramatic than Adventure Time. So I'm very, very extremely interested to watch Fiona and Jake. And I think it comes out fairly soon in August. Lorenzo, did you see um, Adventure Time? Yeah, I definitely, I watched this show, but well, the time it came out, it was around my freshman year. And as we all know, like once you leave high school, you you know, you get your freshman year on campus, you're involved and you're engaged. Because growing up, I was a TV guy. Like I was, like how you clock in and go to work, that's what, that would be me in front of a cable television. And then so, so when I graduated, you know, me and you guys being in the band and, and just, you know, from the Bible studies at 9 p.m. and all that stuff, I just stopped watching TV. And I'm, I thank y'all for it, you know, because I, I was a big, like I said, couch potato. But um, I watched Adventure Time, but I didn't watch every single episode. I, I didn't. But I, th I thought it was interesting. I definitely I definitely watched it. And in that version, when I saw that version, I, I felt really old. So I was like, wasn't he a boy? Wasn't that, what, what's going on? Like, I felt really old. Like, damn, I done missed a whole season of something now and something else and I'm just out of the loop but yeah I definitely I definitely rock with that when is that coming or is it, it just I know, think TBA? I think in August on Max wow uh, yeah. wow that's yeah. next month mm -hmm. but um just like Steven Universe which is one that makes you cry um yeah Steven Universe is really good yeah Adventure Time uh is also as dramatic and it's also very short it's about 12 minutes per episode um, and the things that happen in Adventure Time are shocking. And once they get into the backstories, so you can understand these people's mental illnesses and where they come from. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it gets very, very, very sad. So, yeah. Yeah, when they start telling the stories of like, because Adventure Time is, the world of Adventure Time is the post-apocalyptic post world that we live in. Um, mm. and just after the apocalypse, a bunch of shit starts happening that we couldn't even conceive of. So, yeah, once they start telling that story, that's when Adventure Time got, really got good. Like before, I was like, mm. okay, this is, this is a cool little kid show. Once right. they start telling that shit, you was like, oh, okay, right. So I might, I might spend the block. I might, I might, um, I might spend the block. Like I said, I just like I rock with it. I saw you know maybe a couple of episodes here and there, and I just you know got busy with life. And um, yeah, because like that whole like Cartoon Network had a run, uh, like you know, good shows that I would see, and, and you know, like I mean, like Serious World of Gumball, Steven Universe, and a couple other shows like that. I'm like, okay, but it's like we'd be out busy and stuff like that, so I'll circle back. But like back then, like 2000, really, yeah, 95 to probably 2007. Mm -hmm. He was on, on that TV, man. Who? Oh man, who in that bed? Where somewhere? Just hey, eyes glued. That's why you know I'm glad I got y'all to um, talk about these things, and you know, we have this platform where we just come and discuss. But um, mm -hmm. it's been it's been pretty good. San Diego, like you said, it's two strikes going on in the uh, entertainment industry. Yeah. Um. Now, what if the graphic designers and then the it's it's, it's a whole, it's a bunch of different positions. But what if everybody's like, I want my work, Mr. CEO. Mm -hmm. How you mm -hmm. get in billions? We get we get a we get a five thousand dollar raise, or let's say ten thousand dollars, but you're still getting billions. Would it be? And like yeah. one, okay, I'm sorry, I I, I get on that little box off the pod. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so no, keep going, stuff. keep going. Why do you always uh, apologize? Uh, and oh my god, because we talked about this. we got we have to have intent on this on this pod. Like the conversations we're having pertain to. What the topic is, and I am Mr. Tangent, and I'll go off on one, but uh, I want to make sure we stay focused. Because what's what time? What's the uh, time we got on the um, recording so okay. far? Lorante, we have just done two one hour and forty five minute to two hour episodes back to back, so you can talk. And if I don't like it, I'll just edit it out. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, my man, that. that <laughs> edit it, edit it. Nah, but real quick, real quick. So I'll get back on it. Long story short, um, like we we feeling the effects of entertainment with the writers first, then the actors, and then what about the visual effects guys? What if they say, hey, hold on, we done spent because like you said, they they really do work. They put in hours and do a bunch of. It's like a bunch of people doing really small things, really big though. Like they add up, add up, but it's a lot of them. And they they get paid like to us. Like I said, they get paid. They get paid well. But like I said, these billion, these not billionaires, but these CEOs and the C-suite, that whole C-suite is going to constantly get 
that six figure raise or that seven figure bonus every year. And some niggas getting eight figure bonuses. So that's, I just, as we move forward and we're on the consumer side of things, I just hope, hope they figure out how they're going to, how they going to do it together, keep getting us the same great stuff. But that, hey, that's me off of that. That's me off of that. Yeah. Um, these big Hollywood studios are um, really going uh, stupid because if you read their, demands like you'll see they're not demanding anything <laughs> like like i know one of their demands was if we have to travel to another country to record or yeah to make a show you know pay our rents which is something that is uh something that is usual in the working world because we're going to this other country because it's cheaper for you to film there so pay our rent and that's all pay, pay the rent, pay my rent at home. No, no, no. they are because they're still paying their rent at home. They still have right. a car, at home. they still have mm -hmm. a family at home. Yeah, just but so, in so pay, Canada, my, pay, my, pay my expenses on location. Yeah, in Canada, when they have to go film something else, they have to pay that rent and mm -hmm. that food and mm -hmm. that car notes. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you know, cover my expenses. Yeah, you, you don't want me to come out here. Yeah, yeah, you can do the shit in my backyard for free. Yeah. Exactly. But but uh, if you read those, man, they're just as ridiculous as that. But let's um give it up to the small um studios like A24, which has the most Oscars. And it's a studio where I raise my eyebrows. So I'm like, OK, what are they doing this time? Uh, A24 was actually just given a SAG exemption, which means that actors can work for their studios uh, movies and writers can work for their studios movie because they have agreed to all the terms. So giving up to these big studios. Um, but these little studios, I mean, these big studios like Disney and um, Paramount and um, Netflix are just being bastards. So, yeah. All right. So DeMarcus, that's a no on Mortal Kombat, right? Unless it's cheap. All right, so it's not gonna Let's, be cheap. If it's eighty dollars, if it's seventy or eighty dollars, bro, I ain't going for it. Bro. Like, right. come on, bro, you spending right. time to beat this game. It ain't like you just, you know, what I'm saying this is a game you got to put work into. And I get it, but if back then it cost sixty dollars, and you, you have shipping costs, like you said, and production costs, you don't have any of that. These are some niggas on computers. They get done. It's a file. Upload it to the servers. We get it from the Yo, server. Cool. It could still be that eight, same. <laughs> it could still be that same fifty, sixty dollars. No, I get sixty five oh, for inflation. Was... For inflation, you know what I'm saying? And but it, it's just the, 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 the folks at the inflation. top greedy, man. Yeah, yeah, the folks at the top are greedy. All right, they're like, oh, prices go up, but we but we ain't got to pay for as much shit. I'm gonna keep that that difference. I'm gonna keep that delta. Man. It's going in my pocket. Oh, so is there anything else that we want to say? But but you are getting Spider-Man too, right? No, I ain't what? gonna pay eighty dollars for that either. I'm, I'm gonna right. play I'm gonna play the Final Fantasy remake for free. <laughs> <laughs> this might this might game share it to you. Shit. Right. No, no, you can't share games digitally. So I'm gonna uh put it on my wish list, somebody buy it for me. All right. Man, who knows? Black Black Geek Energy may have the money then, but I think hey, that's yo, that'd be dope. If, if if Black Geek Energy start buying my buying video games for me to play and review, I'm, I'm all with it. Yeah. I'm all with it. That's not gonna support, happen. support, not, support. Not as long as I'm alive. <laughs> not as long. Wait, as I'm wait, alive. what you mean? No, the Marcus, what games have you beaten? Oh, exactly oh, really? that pause. That Paul. No, most recently. Oh, he got a list. Yeah. No, he got a list for you. Hold on. Hold yeah, on. most recently. Hold on. Okay, yeah, that right. smile. <laughs> Have you been <laughs> getting the War? list together? Oh yeah, I'll be both of the God of War joints. Okay. Ben did that last year. Okay. Ben did that. Did you? Did you defeat? Ben did that. Did you defeat the Valkyries? Yep, all the Valkyries, all the little uh insane dudes. All the kings. Thing. All the, all the kings. fallen kings. All right. Uh, yeah, they weren't on all, easy. They was warriors. It was only one king. But yeah, I beat all them niggas. On folks. easy. Nah, on regular. Okay. Okay. Good job. All right. Well, I did too. Um, 
but but yeah let's go ahead take another quick break and then we are going to come back to for everybody's favorite part the questions All right, y'all, welcome back to your favorite portion of the podcast. Hey, this might come in soon. This might come in soon, but welcome back to your favorite portion of the podcast. If you're listening this far, you made it to questions. Questions from who? Our viewers and listeners such as yourself. So if you want to ask a question and have it, you know, or I'm sorry. Yeah, you can ask a question, but if you, if you write it, submit it at the, you know, Twitter at BGE underscore pod. And Instagram and TikTok at Black Geek Energy and our Gmail as well, Black Geek Energy at gmail.com. You can shoot us a question. We'll ask it here on the pod. And hey, when we, um, if you do any social media, when we ask it, we'll tag you. Okay. So, um, yeah, send that our way and let's get into these questions. Fellas, y'all ready? Yes. Okay. All right. First question <laughs> is, I'm sorry. First question is from, Marcelle from East Bay, she asked, who is a better actor, Samuel L. Jackson or Denzel Washington? Ooh. First of all, no. First of all, we're not even going to do that because okay, putting ahead. two bad bees against each other is not right and it's not conducive to what we're trying to do here on Black Geek Energy. So, <laughs> no, no, we cannot do that. You know, they are both phenomenal actors and, you know, we, we, we just can't do that on, on this podcast. Nah. Now, if we said who was the better character and you picked two characters that they both did, we could probably do that, but. All right, here, I got one for you. I got one for you. Could, could Samuel L. Jackson do training day? And could Denzel Washington do snakes on a plane? And the answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is yes. I mean, yeah. Samuel yeah. Jackson can definitely do training day, mm -hmm. but I can't see Denzel doing snakes on a plane. Because there's like a there's like a level of comedy and ridiculousness on snakes on a plane that I just don't I haven't seen Denzel do in any movie or character. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got a Samuel. No, I think he could. Cause, cause, cause that's just like saying, could Denzel do a two B movie? And I think he could do a two B movie. Yeah, but he'll be. I think he'll be too serious in the role. It'll be like he's trying to make this like an Oscar level performance, and it's not that. Like no, nothing else in this movie is on that level. And you, you kind of throwing off the mojo we got going. But he'll be written in like whatever his role would be. But him being, like you said, I, I, that was the role stakes on the plane. So what other movies that Sam Jackson did? Like could Denzel do Pulp Fiction back yeah, in the day? Yeah, I can see Denzel doing Pulp Fiction. Yeah, 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 I agree. Um, is there a role that Samuel L. Jackson did that Denzel could not do? And then yes. Denzel did the lawyer movies. He did a couple of them. But um, I'm trying to think about some early Denzel. So like Glory, could Samuel L. Jackson do Glory? And Denzel, I don't know if y'all seen that movie. Yes, I think Samuel could do anything Denzel can do. Ah! <laughs> hey, can he do fences? You see fences? Fences, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That, I don't think he. I don't think he'll be as good as fences, though. But but could Denzel do Shaft? Yeah, it'd be different. It wouldn't yeah. be that Shaft, but it'd be a different Shaft. It'd be a smooth motherfucker. It's Denzel, <laughs> but he wouldn't be motherfucker. He'll be no cool. Denzel doing Shaft would be the same character as Training Day, low key. Mm. 
Damn. Okay, okay, okay. Could Denzel do split? Split? I don't think I saw that. that the, the M. Night uh, Shyamalan film. That was about uh, the guy. It had Bruce Willis in it, James McElroy. Oh, could Denzel play uh, Mr. Glass? Yes. Mm. Yeah, but he wouldn't be as good in the role. He wouldn't be as good in the role as uh, Samuel was. But he could do Damn, it. That was, that was Samuel L. Jackson in that, huh? <clears throat> Every time I fall, my bones break. <laughs> could Denzel do uh do the guy from Django? Yes. Hell yeah. Yes. It was, it, like we wouldn't expect it, but he'll tear that shit up. You, you <laughs> think he's like, you think he was like, Yeah, and I would, like, yeah, I would hate like, him. Yeah, you would hate him. We I hated mean, Samuel L, but it was like yeah. okay, Jack, you know what I'm saying? It Denzel would be a different it. level of hate with Denzel. It would be a because di- Denzel would mean it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Denzel would mean it. Okay, okay. Let me ask y'all this: Could Denzel do Star Wars? Hell yeah, man. Hell yeah. So Seen Denzel gonna, do a lot of like fun. like hand to hand action combat scenes. Hell yeah. Like, I, I feel like he could do. Uh-huh. I feel like he could do the parts of like sitting down in a chair. Mm-hmm. But when we see him like gyum, 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 you know swinging the lightsaber, it wouldn't. It like they have a stunt doubling up for that. It, it, it wouldn't be him. Did you? If he started doing more action, the older he get, like Denzel got older, and he started doing more stuff like Equalizer and you know all this shit. Because before yeah. in the early nineties, late night, he did just acting like it was all him. And as he got older, he started doing just action hero stuff. So that's why I think he could do. He could do a Mace Windu. Exactly. Um, the only person doing a stunt, the only person doing a stunt is Tom Cruise, and he tripping. He just, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, Tom Cruise is too old to be doing his own stunts. But what's the second <laughs> question? We don't spend enough time on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Moving on, moving on. Next question. We got the white from around your lip. He asked, "Who's the?" Mm, no, he asked, "Is there anything you find frustrating about nerd culture?" Some I'll say people the, take uh, this. I guess, oh, go ahead. But, no, you got it. You got it. Some people take this stuff too seriously. Yeah. Some I was going to say the same. All the gatekeeping yeah. and shit. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like, why gatekeep? You know, I mean, even me, for example, I always reference a comic, but I know how to differentiate the comic from the movies. Like, the movie is never going to be like the comic. The TV show is never going to be like the comic. Like, that's why I went into Avatar The Last Airbender by M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong. And I wasn't groaning at the end because I knew that nothing that he could produce could be on the Avatar's level. So, I don't know. Like, I I can have that level of suspense. Um, But, yeah, some people take this stuff entirely too seriously. I agree. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Moving on. Wait, wait. What do you say, Laurent? Uh, um, I'll say I can say that, and then just the price of consumption to uh, consume some things. Like y'all said, y'all we were briefly talking about the video games and how you know games be sixty bucks now, it's eighty bucks, and you're not even buying like a deluxe version or anything like that. You're buying a standard game, and it's like, damn, hit me on the head. So that that's something I don't like about it. And you you all said it as well, gatekeeping, gatekeeping as well. That's that's just something. I'm not with. I'm not with that at all. All right, next up. And it's especially with these white people who are like, uh, Cat America can't be black. You can't be in cosplay with this. All that stuff just irritates me. So yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. Now moving on, we got the trivia round. Jerry versus the Marcus. Y'all ready, fellas? All right. All right. First question. What is the only number that has the same number of letters as its meaning? I'll say it one more time. What is the only number that has the same number of letters as its meaning? Seven. Okay. Jared? Jared? Hello? I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, it's not seven, it's four. You know what I mean? How you are? F O U R. Four has four letters. So the seven, right? 
No, seven doesn't have seven. Left. Seven has oh, S E V E. Five. five. Yeah, it has five. Uh, Come on, y'all count. I'm not all good right, at counting. All right. Next up. It's Next real one. easy to, to do this from the, the seat of <laughs> knowledge. Top. Exactly. Your ass up. <laughs> exactly. As I see this. Okay, next one. You said seven. What is the only number that has the same? I'm no- oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. You ready? What is the unit of length that is approximately 3.26 light years? I'll give y'all a hint in 30 seconds. Wait, wait, um, wait, wait. I'm sorry. Ask the question again. Okay. What is a unit of length that is approximately 3.26 light years? The unit of length that is, I'll give y'all a hint in like 30, like five seconds. But I'll ask it one more time. What is a unit of length that is approximately 3.26 light years away? A light yard? Right. I don't know. <laughs> okay. It's in it's in Star Wars. It's in Star Wars. And y'all ready? Part six. Uh, parsec. Oh. The part six. The we never knew how, how long parsec. a parsec was exactly. We didn't yeah. we didn't care. No, hey. <laughs> hey, they, they, that was never there. essential to the story. <laughs> well, hey, they on our ass. Oh no. All right. Next up, next no. up. Final question. Final question. Which appealing yellow fruit is slightly radioactive due to its high potassium content? Banana. Which appealing there we go. We got one. That's it. So I win. That's right. As usual, Jared, the winner, the champion, the never losing, defeats Demarcus, the always dying, the never victorious. As usual, you want to play Yu Gi Oh right quick? Just uh, just uh, 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 (laughs) take us out, Lamonte. Take us out. All right, all right. Thank y'all for letting me try something different. We're always hey, put your shirt back on, bro. <laughs> it's all, it's all. It ain't never been off. Uh, it's just been, you know, hoodie. We like it cozy. Mm-hmm. But um, saying that kind yeah, of podcast. But... I know we're two hey, men. Hey. We don't want to see your little nipples. BGE after dark coming soon. Subscribe to the OnlyFans. Bye, hey, y'all. Thanks for listening. Yo, you better not be using our company logo for your uh, OnlyFans. <laughs> Black Geek Energy. Then I'm cosplaying my dick out. Wow. Hey. Yo. Hey, make sure make sure we cut that though. Make sure make sure we cut that. Nah, out. that's in there now. That's in that's there. Clips. That's clips. <laughs> and I'm a shit. Don't clip that. Hey. Cosplay, <laughs> clip that, hey. cosplay <laughs> with his dick out. Wow. wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. make sure that you um go ahead and tell us how you would like Lorante to um behave when it comes to this podcast or when it comes to bg after dark um mm-hmm. let, let us know how you want him to do that by scrolling down to the bottom of our our page on the apple podcast page and leaving us a comment leaving us some stars and uh follow all the sites that Lorante said uh or they are in the um in the description um also, uh, take some time out and, and call uh, a therapist. BGE, what is it? What is it? Betterhelp.com. Betterhelp.com slash BGE pod. Right, right. B-G-E Betterhelp.com slash BGE pod. Take some time in and, and call yourself a therapist. So, mm-hmm. yeah, is there anything else you want to talk about? Laurente, I mean, Demarcus, you need to get your head done, ain't it? Hey, hey, watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I need a haircut too. I'm getting one hopefully Friday. I might do my hair this weekend too, though. Yeah. I'm okay. And, and you too, Lorante. Hey, you need to get your, you need to go mm-hmm. to um, appointment. Appointment Saturday, yeah. Saturday morning, Saturday morning. I'm growing it out. So, um, hey, uh, is podcast done, right? No. Okay, we'll end it out. It's, it's, you what one of y'all say BGE out. No, he just said it. He just said it. We out. Cut the recording. <laughs> he said it. All right, let's take a break to check in on our geeks. Um, how are y'all doing? 
How y'all feeling? How's your heart? How's your mind? Now, y'all have asked us about mental health before and what our feelings are on mental health. And I say that your mental health is just as important as your physical health, your spiritual health, and your financial health, your fiscal health. And uh, therapy, a lot of times, is a bridge to those other things. Um, so our sponsor, BetterHelp, is here to help us with that and help you with that. And I know a lot of y'all don't believe in therapy. Y'all ain't got time for it. You know, can't nobody tell you how you feel. But that's not what BetterHelp is here to do. What BetterHelp does is that they have licensed professionals that help you understand why you're feeling the way you do and are able to walk you through um, those feelings and help you get to a better place or just to reassure you of where you already are. I'm in therapy myself, and I can tell you that it's working for me. So, you know, why not give it a try? You can go to betterhelp.com slash BGE pod. That's beta gamma epsilon pod for 10% off and get started with better health today. All right, that's a pause. So what I'm going to do now is pull up the list. I was on the... um. Because when you said A24, I was like, we could do a whole episode on them because they they've had some really good movies, and it's crazy that they're they're an indie. I guess an indie label, they're not a major, but they the quality of work that they do put out is is up there. So we could do A24. Yeah, did you see this latest show they did on Netflix? Uh, which one? I forgot what it was called. Hold on, Beef. Oh, I started watching that. Mm, yeah, that was real good. It was interesting. Yeah. So yeah, I think I think we got like two months now in advance. If he added eight twenty four. Hmm. 